he has attempted suicide more than 10 times, over 10 times, all half-heartedly, like neither life or death ever really appealed to him. Like he's caught in the crosshairs of a needle and a lottery ticket. I watch him avoid his food because either his stomach can't take it or his brain doesn't want to think anymore, and I can't tell him to keep forward when he's too far away to hear me. I can't ask him how he's doing. I don't want to know the answer. How are you doing? And you say, I'm good. I'm fine, I'm just a little tired today, and that's every day, and every day it's fine. Every life is a long list of fines. You sit at your office desk staring at a blank screen and you think fine. And you're surrounded by cars at a red light and you think fine. And you walk your dog before it gets too dark and you think fine. And you stare at him with his bloody hands and empty gun and you pity him. You're sorry that he's not okay with fine, that he craves something more than just fine. To him, fine is an abstract concept, a styrofoam cup days. Insomnia at the water cooler, how fine are his coworkers' lives? Fine is existence and it's most basic, sadistic form, and that is not living. Life is not waking up and crossing a day off your calendar. Life is forgetting that the calendar exists. So when he pulls the trigger on his pistol and his heart pounds and he hears sirens in his ears, he is more alive than the earth pulling him under, and death is far away. Each time glass shards stick themselves to his skin, he is breathing and he is real. And maybe that's not a healthy way to feel, but neither is basing your self-worth on paper digits. Paper things and paper people turn into good and fine. You record everything you do so it looks like you're having a good time, and you forget that cemeteries hold more than dead bodies, that maybe someone's dream is suffocating in a cardboard box. Six feet under, they can't hear you screaming with no mouth all those things you wish you had done. You just fucked your way to mediocre on a one-way street, and then when you reach the end, when you get the job, when you meet the girl, when you drive the latest model, when your name is inscribed on a pin-pricked plaque, then will you be happy? Will you be just fine? Will you tip him when he parks your car or will you even read his name tag? Because you're too good for half hung rope, for little blue pills, for feeling, for acknowledging that he is the rug that you walk on but at least he knows what it means to be better than fine. At least he knows you are not as good as it gets and he will die for a life worth living for. Can you say the same?